One feature of the black country, of course, is the coming of nonconformists. And believe me, they did a tremendous amount of good. It ought to be remembered that there was no popular education till 1870, and in consequence, the chapels of the black country not only dealt with spiritual matters, but they very often taught ordinary people, men, women, to read and write. Now, that in turn, of course, awakened a social conscience, and it's quite true to avert that uh, the nonconformists sponsored the movements for the trade unions and even the early Labour Party. You might have wondered why we are called a ragged school. It is because children nearly a hundred years ago were the children of poor parents who hadn't money to buy new clothes as they have today. And so they had the name ragged because of their ragged clothes. People who lived in this small village of two gates some of them would be your grandparents, used to worship on a piece of land just up the way here. And then one of them said they ought to have a school wherein they could worship God in more comfort. So a man said, there's a piece of land down the road, and so these people, they got their barrows and their dobbins, and they went to the brickyards down the way and asked those who owned the brickyards if they would give them some brick because they wanted to build a school. They gladly gave them the bricks and they wheeled them up here, up those two big hills, and finally they erected this school. Children have worshipped here all those years and still continue to worship here one supreme purpose and that is to worship God. And so you children have this great heritage handed down to you by your grandparents, a heritage of which I am sure you are all very, very proud. <laughs> 